If you feel like your research question is too broad or has too many results, one way to narrow down your topic is to use the PICO method. PICO stands for patient, intervention, comparison, and outcome. And this is just a fancy way to kind of narrow down our keywords that we can use in the database. So if we break this down one at a time, we start asking questions. For P, we say, who is the focus of this study? Well, we're going to be using children. Intervention, what do you want to see changed? Well, when we're talking about what causes childhood obesity, maybe we could talk about reducing sugar. We can do a comparison. What is another way to change an outcome? We could say maybe exercising. And the outcome would be what would result in these changes? Well, maybe a decrease in obesity. So we take this all together and we're going to have keywords. We're going to have children, reducing sugar, exercising, decrease, and obesity. And that would create a much stronger research question. Does reducing sugar compared to exercising result in a decrease in obesity? If we want to remove the comparison, we can simplify it to, does reducing sugar result in a decrease in obesity? Now let's apply PICO to our database search. We'll click on articles. We'll head over to Academic Search Premier, for example. We'll click on Advanced Search, and we'll take those keywords that we established and apply them. So we'll do children. Now we can also do or, which will mean that it will apply adolescent, youth, child, or teenager, which also can work. We'll do sugar. We'll do reduction. I might use reduce or decrease. And now we need another one. So we can just add as many as you want. You can reduce them. And we'll put obesity. We can also put these extra ones as well. And we'll do search. Now we'll find stuff a lot more relevant because we have a stronger research question.